Hello crochet artists, welcome back to the channel. Today's project is an easy crochet mesh top with sleeves and this one has a flowy ruffles at the wrists. Here are the stitches that you need to know in order to make this project. Chain, double crochet, single crochet, and slip stitch. You can find the list of the materials in the description box and if you're new to this channel, hello there, my name is Kath and I make crochet tutorials. Please consider to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and share this video to your friends. To begin, create a slip knot and make a chain in odd numbers. This chain will go from the side of the body towards the other side. Again, make sure that the chains are in odd numbers and add an extra 1 inch to these chains. For my size, this would be 77 chains. Once you have your chain, you're going to add another 3 chains to this. Now to begin row number 1, you're going to double crochet in the 6th chain from the hook. Chain 1, skip the next chain, then double crochet in the next chain. Chain 1, skip the next chain and then double crochet in the next chain. Repeat this pattern until the end of the row. End of row number 1, chain 4, and turn your work. Now row number 2, we're going to double crochet in each of the double crochet stitch. Chain 1, then double crochet in the next double crochet stitch. Repeat this pattern until the end. End of row 2, double crochet in the third chain of the turning chains. Now from here, you're going to repeat row number 2 until the length of your panel will reach from the shoulder down to the waist or down to the length of your choice. For my size, this would be about 34 rows in total. Now once you have your panel and you notice that the bottom part is curling up or shorter, you may need to redo your work and make your tension a little bit loose. So at this point, you don't need to cut the yarn and we will continue with the straps. For the straps, you're going to chain 4 and turn your work. Next, determine the thickness of the strap using a tape measure. For my size, this would be about 2 inches. If you prefer a thicker strap, you're going to add as many inch as you like. And you can use a stitch marker to block the stitch where the strap ends. Once you have that, you're going to continue with the pattern, with the mesh, double crochet in each of the double crochet stitch until you reach the mark. Here I have my row number 1 for the strap. Just going to measure this again. It's 2 inches exactly. Now from here you're going to repeat row number 1. So chain 4 and turn your work and follow the same pattern. Now 
end of row number 2. If you prefer a longer strap, you can extend this as you like. But for my size, we only have 2 rows. And then we're going to fasten off and do the same thing for the opposite side of the panel. To do that, we're going to join the yarn at the last stitch and then repeat the pattern for the mesh. Use the same amount of stitch as the opposite strap and repeat everything from the beginning to create the second panel. When you have both of your panels, we're going to continue with the shoulder seam. To make the shoulder seam, join the yarn into both sides of the straps and then chain one. Chain one here counts as one stitch. Then single crochet into each of both chain spaces and then single crochet as well into both double crochet stitches. Fasten off and seam the second strap. Next is the side seam. To do this, we're going to determine the circumference of the armhole. And for that, you're going to need a tape measure. So what you're going to do is wrap the tape measure around your shoulder and down to the armpit. And for my size, this would be 14 inches. So divided by 2, that's 7 inches. So the idea here is to make the armhole as close to the armpit as possible so that the sleeves will be tight, skin tight. And then we're going to continue with the seaming of the sides. Use a stitch marker to mark the endpoints of the side seam. Join the yarn into the corner stitch of both panels and chain one. Chain one here counts as one stitch or one single crochet. Now single crochet into both of the first row and then single crochet into the double crochet stitch. So this will be the pattern that you will repeat until you reach the stitch marker. Fasten off, cut the yarn, and seam the other side. Turn your work inside out. And then join the yarn into the side seam of the top. From there, we're going to begin the sleeves, starting with round one. Round one, we're going to chain three. Chain 3 here will count as one double crochet. From here, we're going to follow the pattern of the mesh. So the next stitch here is a double crochet, and then the next stitch is a chain stitch. So just follow the pattern of the mesh and do this all the way around. The shoulder seam will count as one stitch, so place either a double crochet on there or a chain space. Continue with the pattern until you reach the end, and then slip stitch on the third chain of the beginning chain 3. Moving on to round number 2, do not turn your work, chain 3, 
and then repeat the pattern from the previous round until the length of the sleeve will reach just above the wrists. I just finished my sleeve in which I have about 34 rounds. You can extend this as you like depending on your size. Now do not turn your work. We'll continue with the ruffles starting with a chain of 3 for round 1. And then we're going to double crochet in each of the chain space and in each of the double crochet stitches. Do this all the way around. End of round number one for the ruffles, slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chains and then chain three. Do not turn your work. Chain three counts as one double crochet. Now make one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. On the next stitch, make 3 double crochet. So the pattern for this round is double crochet in each of the next 3 stitches, then 3 double crochet in the next stitch. Repeat this pattern all the way around. End of round number two for the ruffles, slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chains, do not turn your work, and then round number three, starting with a chain of three, make a double crochet in each of the next stitches until you reach the middle stitch of the three double crochet cluster here. When you get to the middle stitch, you're going to place two double crochet on there instead of one. So make two double crochet in the middle stitch. So this will be the pattern until the end of the round. Double crochet in each stitch except for the middle stitch. So when you get to the middle stitch, you're going to place two double crochet on there. End of round number three, slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chains. And then moving on to round number four, chain three. And then make a double crochet in each of the stitch except for the two double crochet cluster.
make two double crochet in each of the two double crochet cluster. So this will be the pattern that you will repeat throughout round number four, double crochet in each of the double crochet stitch, then make two double crochet in each of the two double crochet cluster. At the end of the round, we're going to slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chains. And then for the next round, we're going to chain three. And then double crochet in each stitch. So there will be no increases for round number five. End of round number five, slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chains and then chain three. Now I'm going to add another round here. So for round number six, we're just going to repeat round number five. And if you prefer your ruffles to be a little bit longer, you can extend round number five as many rounds as you need. For my size, I will only have six rounds in total. And then you're going to repeat the pattern for the sleeve to make the second sleeve. After that, we're going to create the eye cord. And to do that, you're going to fold your yarn in half. And for this, you're going to need a little bit longer yarn. So I really like my eye cord to be longer. So I have about 180 inches here. Next, we're going to create a slip knot and insert the hook into the loop. We have here the upper strand and the lower strand. Now wrap the lower strand into the hook, hold the yarn in place, and then yarn over and pull through. Let's do that one more time. Wrap the lower strand into the hook, hold the yarn in place, and then yarn over and pull through. Repeat this until you have the enough length that you need for your eye cord. When you have the correct amount that you need, we're going to tie a knot at the end twice just to secure the eye cord. And then we're going to cut the yarn. Now to make the yarn even more secure, I'm going to take a candle and we're going to burn the tip of the yarn just a little bit. So this technique only works for acrylic yarn. Cotton and other types of yarn do not work well with this. Next are the edging for the neckline and the bottom of the top. So join the yarn into the shoulder seam at the neckline and then chain one. Chain one here does not count as the stitch. Next we're going to single crochet in each of the chain spaces and single crochet in each of the double crochet stitch.
at the end, slip stitch in the first single crochet and then fasten off and cut the yarn. For the lower part, you're going to join the yarn into any of the stitch and same as the neckline, we're going to single crochet in each of the chain spaces and single crochet in each of the double crochet stitch. At the end, slip stitch in the first single crochet, fasten off and cut the yarn and weave in all of the ends. For the last part, we're going to insert our I cord at the middle part of our top and we're just going to pull through the middle and this should create a sort of cinch. That ends our tutorial for today. If you find this video useful, please give us a thumbs up, share, subscribe. It really helps this channel immensely. We are also on Facebook and Instagram, Twitter and Pinterest. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.